being taught if that's the situation that they're in. And when you look at a country like Ghana, who has a total national debt of $341.8 billion, and just last year alone they took on $5.9 billion worth of new loans, and you want to know why you don't have roads and you don't have good classrooms and you don't have good hospitals, the domestic debt, so the domestic debt alone in Ghana is $178.1 billion. Now, that's the money that the government has borrowed from the citizens, from the citizens' banks, from the citizens' you know, that sort of thing, your um, income tax, 50, almost 50% of Ghana's entire income tax that revenue goes to paying their debt. Now, when you look at the stuff that Ghana is producing, locally Ghanaian produced, and I know we're focusing on Ghana a bit because that's where my knowledge base is, but if you look at Ghana's, um, uh, the, the, the locally produced, the locally, the gross product revenue, so stuff that's produced pr primarily in Ghana, 85% of that is the, the 85% of that is equivalent to the loans that Ghana have, just Ghana. So 85% of all the revenue that you get from everything that is produced locally, whether it stays in the country or gets exported, 85% of that is equivalent to the loans that you have outside. Last year it was 70-something. Now it's jumped to 85-something and it's going to continue to. And that is why we keep lending you the money. The more you owe, the more it is worth the more of your um, gross your your gross local products are worth to us. So when it gets to a point where that becomes 85, 90, 95, 100 percent, that means every single every single cent that is earned from your pr produce belongs to outside. Now once it tips over that part, you can't pay us back. We're going to come in like China did. China took Uganda's airport because they couldn't pay their debts. So what do you think is going to happen? You're at 85%. 85% of your, your goods that you are produced there are equivalent to the debt that Ghana has. And they took on another $5.9 billion worth of loans just last year. So 50% of your income tax is going to repay these loans. The more they take, the higher that goes, the less there is going into the system. If the loans that they were taking were building infrastructure, fixing roads, building hospitals, building schools, um, this one district, one factory, can you imagine if he'd actually put that into place and we had a chocolate factory and we had um, an African ware factory where the traditional kente was being made because the rest of the world is crazy for African ware. You guys have the most beautiful wear, uh, clothing and African ware in the world, the most bright, the vibrant, the best styles. It's just, it's beautiful and we love it. But you guys,